Today we feel honored to welcome a very distinguished alumni of our college, Yuvraj Sambhaji Rajay Chhatrapati. Sir is the heir to Kolhapur royal family and the great grandson of Chhatrapati Shahu of Kolhapur. He is also the 13th direct descendant of the Maratha king Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. I don't think that I need to describe Shivaji Maharaj, but if I have to, with sir your permission, I would like to do it by saying, Nishayatsa Mahamiru. बहुत जनासी आधारु अखंड स्थिति चा निर्धारु श्रीमंत योगी राजे छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराजां चे जीवनाचे वर्णन या चार ओवित समस्ता चेते Going further, John F. Kennedy rightly says, success of any college can be measured by contribution of alumni to national life. युवराज संभाजी राजे छत्रपति after passing out of RKC made a mark in society and fulfill the trust respond responded in him by the alma mater. He took keen interest in politics and currently serves as the member of upper house of the parliament of India, the Rajya Sabha. He is the chairman of the Raigad Development Authority, which is working wonders by restoring the Maratha capital fort of Raigad. The body is developing Raigad fort and trying to recreate history. He also takes keen interest in agriculture. As the school is the most important part of life and treasure of memories, Yuvraj Sambhaji Rajay Chhatrapati graciously wished to visit us and share his journey as an Akashian. I take this opportunity to supplicate your sir and share your valuable thoughts about RKC so that many of us get inspired to add to the glory of this majestic institute. Sir, if you may. Thakur Sahib of Muli, His Highness, Maharaja Vadwan, my close friend Vivraj Ranjit Singh Parmar, the staff, my friends, and ladies and gentlemen. It gives me an immense pleasure to be here to come to my old school. I mesmerized not the minute when I came to RKC. I mesmerized right from yesterday. I was wondering how my reaction is going to be because I've come after 33 years. I passed out in 83 and Maybe in the last decade, me and Ranjit Singh, we used to always talk that I have to come to Rajkot. But I don't know, this was the right time. And to be a member of parliament and then come to your old school, that is something very special for me. My great-great-grandfather, late Shahud Chhatrapati Maharaj of Kolhapur, was a student in the school. He is the ninth descendant of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and one of the biggest social reformers of India. He was the first person to make education compulsory, make education free in Kolhapur state. He was also the first person to bring hostile culture in Kolhapur and that is why Kolhapur is still called as the mother of hostels. Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj was the first person to bring in reservations in Kolhapur state which included 50% reservations which had SC, ST and OBC. Well this is not, it may, be look, it may look very common for all of us or may look a little absurd for all of us but that is what was required 100 years back and that was later imbibed by Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar in the constitution and Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar always called him as the father of social democracy. So the boys also should know a little about Shahu Maharaj's the other side. I was just speaking to Thakur Sahib as His Highness that when 
Principal Rogerson, late Principal Rogers, Peter Rogerson, was the principal when we were studying here. And I had the honor, also I had the honor of staying in principal's bungalow. So I think most probably, I'm not sure, 30 or 40 best students were selected and put in the, in the uh, principal's bungalow. So I was one of them in the last year. Just a year before, maybe around 1980s or 81, the last ruler of Kolhapur, my grandfather, Major General Shahjit Shatri Maharaj of Kolhapur, he came to see me. And Peter Rogerson very generously hosted him in the principal's bungalow. And he narrated a story by telling, although Shahu Maharaj is documented in each, each and every book, but there's a little nostalgic story or a story which is not documented in your books. So this is all for basically for all the boys here and the girls. Oh, I'm not used to it. <laughs> because it's been a, our kids is being a boys' school. <coughs> and he said, when the first principal, Magdeton, uh, was heading the RKC, and the first lot of boys, the first lot, the, all the Rajkumars, that is why it was named Rajkumar College, maybe around, I, I think there were around 34 of them. So one of them was Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj. And his very close friend was late Maharaja of Bhavanagar, Bhav Singh Ji Maharaj. You have also a road named after late Bhavanagar Maharaj in Kolhapur. And there's also a small palace built in the name of Shahu Maharaj in Bhavanagar. So this was, it was thick and thin of, friend, uh, of their friendship. So when sh my grandfather uh, was discussing with late Peter Rogerson, the principal then said, there was a donkey which came inside this very quadrangle. Donkey, can you imagine a donkey coming in a quadrangle? And it started bring at night. So Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj felt, let's catch the donkey. And Maharaja Bhavnagar said, let's not do such kind of things. We'll be expelled. We could be expelled. But he didn't listen. And Shahu Maharaj was very hefty, 100 kg plus. Not then, but later in his life. So Shahu Maharaj caught hold of the donkey with his friend Maharaj of Bhavnagar took the donkey at this very tower where we are sitting. And in the morning, uh, it started bringing again. Principal Magneton had the fallen as usual. And he said, I know who, the, who has taken the donkey up. And if the donkey is not brought down, he would be expelled. So Prince Maharaj of Bhavnagar was very smart, very clever. He said, Maharaj, we have been caught. We have to study more in the school. We cannot be expelled immediately in the first year. <laughs> so the donkey was brought down. So this is a little, very funny side of Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj. But later he was very serious. He turned the entire Kolhapur, entire Maharashtra as a very progressive state, a social reformer, which we still look at, look upon him and follow his principles, his ideology even now. So when I became the member of parliament, the first thing I wrote and gave a book to Narendra Modi, although I'm associating you, but I will always follow the principles laid down by my forefathers, that is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj. I, will, I was not a very studious student, but the school has taught me so many things. All the laurels which I've achieved till date, the pillar is my forefathers, and the pillar is this RKC. I was also awarded, nothing in studies, but I was awarded the best cricketer, or the, the certificate of, of merit was uh, given to me. So there are a lot, lot of memories, a lot of small things. You know, we used to go and sleep on the terrace during the summer times. I came into Gohilwar house. We had a housemaster called Mr. Ghate. And he being from Pune, so made me a little comfort zone. We had Mr. Ayaz Khan in the inter house. Not many, you know, I've got so many memories which I can't share here, but all good memories. I have not one single memory 
which I felt I should leave RKC. And RKC has brought me here, but I still regret I should have come before. But I think it's the right time which has brought me here as a member of parliament, your alumni. And Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj has his 100 death centenary from the 6th of May. So a lot of programs have started. So I spoke to uh, Ranjit Singh Parmar and uh, I took the advantage of my friendship. I said, this is the time to take the advantage of the friendship for a good cause. And I said, I would, I would like to visit RKC. And Thakur Sahib Muri was very generous. He, he said, you are not just coming. We have the only member of parliament, we have the only member of parliament who is the alumni. And Mulis Thakur Sahib, I would like to tell you, I started my member of parliament by taking the respects of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj at the very fort Raigad, where he was coronated as a Chhatrapati, which the boy mentioned. And Shahu Maharaj, of course. And I felt I should end my term and go to a place where that place has actually brought me to this place. And that is Rajkumar College, Rajkot. And today is my last day of my tenure. And with <laughs> today is the last day of my tenure. But I promise you, as an Arkesian, I will come back strongly, not only as an uh, ex-MP, but I would definitely like to come as a minister or maybe further back to RKC. And that will be very soon. That will be very soon. So with this words, I once again thank Thakur Sahib Muli, His Highness Yuraj, Ranjit Singh Parmar, and all my dear friends to give me an opportunity to pay tributes to the great legend Shatapati Shahu Maharaj. I am mesmerized, I am honored, I have no words to express how happy I am. I told Thakur Sahib that I'm going to trouble you. You have, you have to, every opportunity which I get, I'm going to photograph myself. People always photograph me, but I want to be photographed myself today. I have been telling my team, take n number of photographs. Your camera should be full with only my photographs today. I'm so, I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful. I have no words beyond this. This assembly hall has got so much of memories. Everyone dreamt you know, to be a part of this assembly hall. My forefather's name is written on this marble. I just, I have, it is, it is too much for me. I can't digest it now. But once again, I thank uh, uh, everyone. Once again, I'm repeating my statements, but I need to, I thank Thakur Sahib Muli, His Highness, Ranjit Singh, to give me such an opportunity and to be a part of RKC. I can never forget in my life. Thank you so much. Nuring sir, the, I'm actually quite mesmerized with all that you said and the feeling is totally reciprocal, let me tell you that. So uh, while uh, I'm an old boy as well, I spent 32 years of my life in Maharashtra, largely in Mumbai and Pune. But the stories and folklore of Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj are known right through Maharashtra, not just Kolapur. And if I may say one sentence in Marathi, Lokotena Deo Mantat is God to everybody and that is how he is revered in Kolapur. So if you go to Kolapur and if you go around the streets of Kolapur, you can't come out without knowing who he was. And I'm sure, sir, you're following his footsteps and doing all that you can to see to it that you keep the flag highing and flying all the time. Uh, must also say that uh, you may have come in after such a long time, but as they say, it's never too late. And the more frequent it gets for you, the better for us. We also look forward to your uh, guidance and limelight at all points of time, sir. It's an absolute honor, pleasure and privilege as far as we are concerned, sir. Thank you. I forgot to mention, uh, again, Thakur Sahib has been so uh, generous and kind. It's a vacation. Uh, and in spite of the vacation, please don't curse me. Uh, the staff is here, the boys are here, the girls are here. But I'll make this day very proud and see that the Akisi names flies high. Thank you.
I'd like to also like to call upon Thakur Sahib Muri as well as Thakur Sahib Adwan to present a photograph to uh, Okay. So would that be later? Yeah. We could do it. Okay. Just That photograph is of uh, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues. That photograph belongs to a time of 1886. That's when uh, Sobhaji Shah Maharaj of the gathering can also uh, participate in being plural to do it. So we could do that and we can now with our campus visit as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to everybody and uh, very nice of you. Thank you.
Sun and the sun.